The way businesses use energy continues to change. New technologies bring exciting growth in many industries, but these changes can affect the delicate balance of energy supply and demand. As today's grid struggles to meet the increasing need for electrical energy, problems arise, putting companies at risk of decreased productivity and lost revenue. Here's how it currently works. Huge energy generating stations are scattered around the state, usually in remote areas. These facilities produce energy using coal, gas, nuclear, and more recently, renewable energy sources like wind and solar. Energy is delivered to the end user through complex transmission and distribution systems, also known as the grid. This process appears seamless to the end user. You flip a switch, and a light turns on. But what if something happens to the grid somewhere between the generating station and your facility? You flip a switch, and the light doesn't turn on. No energy means no production, and no production means no revenue. Now there's another way to meet your facility's energy demands that is affordable, reliable, and clean. It's called distributed energy resources. Distributed energy resources can help a business use energy more efficiently by creating it on-site and storing it for use at peak operating times. Such an energy system consists of alternative energy sources which produce electricity, energy storage units to store it, and an inverter and distribution unit which controls how energy is distributed on-site. This is the brain of the operation. Facilities with one or two alternative energy sources, like solar and wind, can carry production along for a while in the event of a grid power outage, but when the sun goes down or the wind stops blowing, those energy sources are gone. Adding energy generation and storage resources frees you from the grid and allows you to operate in any situation. The key to this process is what happens to the electricity when you have alternative energy sources. The energy your facility generates is transported to an inverter. An inverter converts the direct current produced by most alternative energy sources to the alternating current your business equipment requires. Most inverters need AC signals from the grid to operate, and because the AC power produced by inverters flows both ways, to the consumer and to the grid, they are designed to prevent islanding or continued power production on site while the grid is down. This is done primarily for grid workers' safety. Recently, inverters are coming onto the market as island inverters. These are designed to disconnect from the grid for safety while continuing on-site power production to keep things running. A control unit, another critical component, acts as the hub to route where the energy goes next. When there is high demand for energy, the inverter and control unit sends it out to your facility to power anything that needs it, buildings, vehicles, equipment, and more. During low demand, or when there is a surplus of energy generated, energy is routed to a storage unit which consists of batteries. This energy storage unit does just that, stores energy for future use. Together, the system can reduce electricity costs from the utility, such as peak time of use rates and demand charges. Add the capability of islanding in a disconnected mode, and you now have a microgrid. Now that you know what components are needed to implement a distributed energy system for your facility, it's time to take a closer look at how to make this a reality. Here are some steps you'll want to take. 1. Conduct a thorough energy assessment of your facility. Make a list of where your facilities need energy improvements such as increased reliability, lower emissions, or reducing peak demand charges. Obtain a full year of electric bill data which includes level of electric energy consumed throughout each day. 15-minute increments would be ideal. Assess where and when peak energy use occurs. Separate metering may be required for separate facilities. 2. Confirm the facilities in question are under your control. Make sure the properties are under your control, or if they may be leased and under constraints that could affect your energy options. Determine if you have other tenants that may be impacted. 3. Determine if there are any barriers to making the energy improvements. Consider whether any regulatory barriers may exist. Understand what local permits and codes will allow. 4. Consider what you need in distributed energy resources to achieve improvement goals. After taking a look at what you already have for energy supply, consider what equipment may be needed to achieve the energy improvements you identified. Consider the levels of power you need, and the time of day you need them, based on current consumption patterns. Then, consider the energy producing capacity of the equipment and the conditions that are needed for operation, for example, weather or sunlight. 
Energy storage may be needed to maximize the value of your distributed energy system and make it possible to island like a true microgrid. 5. Other considerations. Other considerations will need to be made of course, such as electrical service and wiring, installation requirements, and training. A qualified engineer or contractor will be able to assist you in the evaluation, specification, and procurement stages of the project. An on-site microgrid style system can positively impact your bottom line and the environment. How? It's reliable. Multiple energy resources built into your current facility means production continues even if the grid fails or if one of your resources isn't available. It's affordable. Once your system is up and running, you'll enjoy low energy bills by purchasing less energy from the grid. You might even choose to be off the grid completely. It's clean. Energy produced from your alternative energy sources can be 100% pollution free, coming from renewable sources that are naturally replenished and practically limitless. If you would like assistance with assessing the effectiveness and cost of distributed energy resources for your company site, contact the Clean Energy and Transportation Initiative, or SETI, at www.cetieducation.org. We'll put you in touch with an expert near you.